Yovalim Jubilees 27. And the words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rivka in a dream. And Riv Rivka sent and called Yaakov, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, Esau your brother will take vengeance on you so as to kill you. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice, and arise and flee you to Levan, my brother, to Haran, and tarry with him a few days until your brother's anger turns away, and he remove his anger from you, and forget all that you have done. Then I will send and fetch you from thence. And Yaakov said, I am not afraid. If he wishes to kill me, I will kill him. But she said unto him, Let me not be bereft of both my sons on one day. And Yaakov said to Rivka his mother, Behold, you know that my father has become old, and does not see because his eyes are dull. And if I leave him, it will be evil in his eyes, because I leave him and go away from you. And my father will be angry and will curse me. I will not go. When he sends me, then only will I go. And Rivka said to Yaakov, I will go in and speak to him, and he will send you away. And Rivka went in and said to Yitzhak, I loathe my life because of the two daughters of Chet, whom Esau has taken him as women. And if Yaakov take a woman from among the daughters of the land such as these, for what purpose do I further live? For the daughters of Kenan are evil. And Yitzhak called Yaakov and blessed him, and admonished him, and said unto him, Do not take you a woman of any of the daughters of Kenan. Arise, and go to Aram Naharaim, to the house of Bethuel, your mother's father, and take you a woman from thence of the daughters of Levan, your mother's brother. And El Shaddai bless you, and increase and multiply you, that you may become a company of nations, and give you the blessings of my father, Avraham, to you and to your seed after you, that you may inherit the land of your sojournings, and all the land which Elohim gave to Avraham. Go, my son, in peace. And Yishak sent Yaakov away, and he went to Aram Naharim, to Levan, the son of Bethuel, the Arami, the brother of Rivka, Yaakov's mother. And it came to pass, after Yaakov had arisen to go to Aram Naharim, that the Ruach of Rivka was grieved after her son, and she wept. And Yitzhak said to Rivka, My sister, weep not on account of Yaakov, my son, for he goes in peace, and in peace will he return. El Elyan will guard him from all evil, and will be with him, for he will not forsake him all his days. For I know that his ways will be prospered in all things, wherever he goes until he return in peace to us, and we see him in peace. Fear not on his account, my sister, for he is on the upright path, and he is a perfect man, and he is faithful and will not perish. Weep not. And Yitzhak comforted Rivka on account of her son Yaakov and blessed him. And Yaakov went from the well of the oath to go to Haran on the first year of the second week in the 44th Jubilee. And he came to Luz on the mountains, that is, Be'at El, on the new moon of the first month of this week. And he came to the place at evening and turned from the way to the west of the road that night. And he slept there for the sun had set. And he took one of the stones of that place 
and laid under the tree, and he was journeying alone, and he slept. And he dreamt that night, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of Yahuwah ascended and descended on it. And behold, Yahuwah stood upon it. And he spake to Yaakov and said, I am Yahuwah Elohim of Avraham, your father, and the Elohim of Yitzhak, the land whereon you are sleeping. To you will I give it, and to your seed after you. And your seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and you shall increase to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. And in you and in your seed shall all the families of the nations be blessed. And behold, I will be with you and will guard you whithersoever you go, and I will bring you again into this land in peace. For I will not leave you until I do everything that I told you of. And Yaakov awoke from his sleep and said, Truly this place is the house of Yahuwah, and I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, Dreadful is this place, which is none other than the house of Elohim, and this is the gate of heaven. And Yaakov arose early in the morning and took the stone which he had put under his feet and set it up as a pillar for a sign, and he poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Beit El, but the name of the place was Luz at the first. And Yaakov vowed a vow unto Yahuwah, saying, If Yahuwah will be with me, and will guard me in this way that I go, and give me bread to eat, and raiment to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall Yahuwah be my Elohim. And this stone which I have set up as a pillar for a sign in this place, shall be Yahuwah's house. And of all that you give me, I shall give the tenth to you, my Elohim.